War Diary, day 614 of Russia's war against Ukraine. I'm in Tarashevchenko Park. It's a rather gorgeous autumn day, too hot frankly. And uh, behind me is a statue, I think, of Tarashevchenko, but it's all um, trussed up because <laughs> this place has been hit by two Russian cruise missiles last October, and um, that may yet happen again. <sighs> By the way, yesterday I, I posted a, a video saying that Putin was missing and then a couple of hours later the, the little bastard popped up like an evil jack-in-the-box. Um, he said that this awful anti-Jewish, anti-Semitic wannabe pogrom in southern Russia and Dagestan, this was <laughs> the work of Ukrainian and Western intelligence. It's just nonsense. What this is, is a result of a suppressed population being fed a lot of dark nonsense. Yes, Israel is overreacting, but yes, Israel was attacked and something like 1,400 people were killed in one day. This is the worst loss of Jewish life since the Holocaust. And that proper context has been missing from Russian media. So, Putin has sown some dragon's teeth. Once again, I do not think his grip on power is absolute or anything like it. We're dealing with a fragile monster. All we need to do is to use our strength in the West, our military and our economic strength, to tell Putin and his friend in China, Chairman Xi, stop it. That's enough and we're not sending that message clearly. One good piece of news, the Financial Times is reporting that, um, that um, the Russians are worried about their economy. Good, they should be much more worried. Oh, and Vladimir Putin, do fuck off. <laughs>